All right, this one's gonna be on W3M's key bindings that we can do with like external uh, shell commands. And last time we talked about this, we used the, um, the was that the configs that they have, and we had like a, was that ext browser, right? And I always hated doing this method, really. Um, luckily, we don't have to do that anymore. And you know, because this one you had like up to nine of them, and you have to remember the stupid numbers um to use the hotkeys well luckily we don't have to do that anymore and we can actually just use straight up the um key mapping that they have in their files and this one should be in your home folder dot w3m and just call key map file here and in here they have these uh two built-in commands i'll say so one of them is called extern link and the other one's just called extern an extra link is for anything under the cursor. Uh, if there's a link under that cursor, you can actually uh, grab that URL, right? Or if it's on the current page, it'll grab the URL of that current page and it'll allow us to manipulate that to do, you know, what we want to do with it, um, either with a shell command, either with a script or whatever. Um, the script one I already showed you that last time was that URL portal. What is that URL portal, right? Somewhere here. Right, you can do like a, a script if you want, which I talked about with URL portal last time. But this one, if you just want to do it straight up like a, a basic shell command in here, uh, we can do that too. So for example, uh, the way I like to do this is uh, if it's if it's your oh, is that external link, I like to use lowercase. So in this case, like is lowercase yy, and if it's the current page that I want to grab the URL from, I do. Uh, capitalize yy right um so that's how i do it here and this one's a pretty simple command we're echoing out the uh url and we're passing it to xelec and that will copy it to your clipboard right um so i'm giving you an example of that here real simple if i do was that uh wiki i don't know we do gnu how about that right and we have what we got here is that even gnu linux let's see if anything is different there you go GNU Linux right and if I wanted to like let's say grab uh, a link in here do we have any links in here come on now let's say 51 here F if I want to grab that I hit YY right that will grab it to our X select and if I want to paste it real simple it pastes that right uh, let's say for example down here we'll do yy we'll paste that look at that real quick using x select right um you know it grabs it to our clipboard and we can just paste it using like control v or control shift v if you're in the terminal uh so that one is to grab like the the link there our cursor's on but if i want to grab the whole page i can do uh capitalize yy so shift yy and this one will grab you know the url uh, that we're currently on which is like uh, that title equals GNU Linux whatever um, If I was on a server or something running like uh, tmux only because this one's for like, you know It requires like an X session or something like that uh, Or at least X or whatever, but if I'm using like tmux I can use that, you know with tmux um, built-in clipboard, which is called set buffer So if you're doing this like straight up from the server, you can still use, you know, um Let's do another URL here. Let's just call it, uh, I don't know, Linux. Right, if I wanna copy uh, this one here, whatever, I can do YS, and this will copy it to my Tmux, um, what does it call it, choose buffer. So if I do the zero here, it'll copy whatever link that I was on, right? So this is the link right there on uh, zero. If I go to, let's say this one here, I do YS, Again, this will be in my zero here, which is uh, what was that dash search here or p dash search, whatever. You get the idea. So if I want to paste this, let's say for example, I'll copy this Linux trouble here. I'll do ys and I'll paste it using prefix and then p. Look at that. We're just using straight up tmux to copy this here. So ys and then prefix and p to paste, right? Um, so that's how I handle that if I'm using like, you know, if I want to just use it straight tmux, I can do that. 
And if I want to open it with my GUI web browser, uh, either in a regular session or a incognito private session, I can do that. And I already have the variable set, but uh, I'm giving you an example here. Uh, what the hell was that one? One. So if I want to open this whole page uh, in a regular session, I do uh, Shift XW here. And look at that, right? It just opens a new tab within my uh, current session. Uh, if I open, what have we got here? This Linux trouble here, whatever. Uh, I can do XW, lowercase. And look at that, we have that, real simple. So that one's for our current session, you know, uh, not private browsing or anything like that. If I want to do private browsing, I just use XN, whether it be uh, lowercase or capitalized. Um, you know, depending on if you wanted the page or not. So I do uh, capitalize XN. This will open the Linux page in a private session, right? So we have um, our regular session and our private session here, right? Um, you know, if I open this page, uh, this page, uh, well not page, this URL that we're on, I can do XN lowercase and it will open like another tab within that, you know, uh, private browsing session here. So that's pretty much it for, um, you know, the, the variable stuff for uh, opening a GUI or web browser. I mean, if you want to do this like directly here, it's real simple also. You can just search, type in your browser, whatever you're using, like, you know, Chromium, Firefox, or whatever it is. Uh, same thing with this one here. If it's Chromium, I believe this is called dash dash incognito, right? That's all you gotta do, which I already have it set up, so I don't need to do it. Now this next one, um, WDM does have a built-in, you know, download manager, but I never like to use their built-in one because um, I like to background the process. And if I'm downloading multiple stuff, I want it to do it in an order, so I don't have to like waste bandwidth all at the same time. So that's what we're doing here. We're using. Task Pooler, one of my favorite programs. Hopefully you guys have catched on, but the Task Pooler is awesome. And we're actually gonna use our own separate Task Pooler session or Task Pooler queue, right? We're gonna call this one um, W3M here. And it's just gonna call, you know, Task Pooler. And it wanna run either RER2C or WGET, whatever you wanna use, you know, Axel, a bunch of other download uh, things you can do. So we're gonna do uh, downloading stuff. Let's go get some files here. I got some earlier, but we'll do another one. How about that? Uh, we'll download some music, something quick, but uh, I'll show you an example of what it does here. If you've never done it before. Let's say I search for some Madonna stuff, which I think we had some earlier here. All right, so if I want to download some of this, um, I can just use for example, I use aria 2 c here, I use XD. So XD, 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 XD. All right, we queued up a bunch of files. I do XS here, and this will be uh, running. So you see we queued up a bunch of files that we wanna download, and the one that's running, is gonna download, and the one that's finished, it'll say finish, and you know, it'll go in order, so um, you know, you know the way that will run it now if you want to see this um was i like the hotkey xs what is this one here the hotkey for this is xs or x capital what's that capital xs and the two differences that xs is to show you a watch of what it does and uh, the other one is x capital s what's that xs here this one will show you the current file that's being downloaded, uh, which this one's already complete, but you know, you can see it while it's running. Uh, actually, all of them are complete now. Let's see here. Yeah, all of them are finished, but if you wanna see like the last one that's, uh, you know, you add it to the queue, uh, see what's happening, uh, you can always use, um, what is that, the capital XS here and it'll show you uh, while it's running, if it's running or not. You can see like a cat command of it. Anyways, watch my um, video on Task Pooler, then you'll get what I'm talking about. But that hotkey or that command was, uh, what was that? It's just uh, calling TSP-C, and that's just to cat it out. 
Um, what else is there? If you want to clear the whole thing, I like using X uh, C here. This will clear it. So right now we have uh, X S here. This one it has like a whole list here. If I want to clear this list because it gets too long, uh, you know I can um, clear it. And to clear it's just a uh, X C. And now if I open that watch um, thing again, it will be clear, right? Um, so you can actually add new stuff in here if you want. So let's say for example, I add another one here, XD or XD. We'll have a new uh, list here. So we'll queue it and it will run it and it will download more stuff. But you know, you clear um, whatever is on the queue because it's already done. Anyways, that's how I manage, um, you know, downloads using this um, for that one. Um, what else is there? So this one, basic stuff. If you're using transmission uh, command line, uh, then you can you know send this to your transmission uh, daemon, and uh, it will download you know either torrents or magnet links. You can send it uh, using this. Uh, this one is for images. So you know if you're not using my URL portal script that I talked about then you can always use this one is built in straight from the you know w3m's key mapping so let's find a um, an image actually do you have any images in here no we don't so for example I do images and we'll do some Naruto Itachi if I spell it right and we should have some images in here right so for example, if I wanted to use straight up W3M to view images also, I mean, if your terminal supports it or if you're uh, in a TTY, I believe it should uh, run it also, uh, right? So let's do XI, so XI, this one will open the images in a new W3M session, right? And that's how you can view it here. And if you want to use like a GUI viewer, this one's called Fay or Fef. I don't really know how you say this thing, but we can do X capital I and we get the same result. Let's say do this Kakashi here, X capital I, and this one should open it with a you know GUI um, image viewer here, right? And if you want to use this with MPV, uh, I don't know if if it was like an animated. Uh, images or something like that I can use MPV so this one is X G and it should open it but this one is not animated so it's not doing anything but you can see that it is using MPV here right anyways that's that uh, if it was a video or something like that um, like a YouTube video we can use MPV in a task puller session and uh, this one I talked about like a couple of times, so most people already know this, but I'll show you an example again. Why not? Um, if it was like a YouTube link, a MKV file, you know, whatever it is um, that has like uh, MPV supports or YouTube DL supports, and then you can do this. So let's say, for example, YouTube, and let's say I search for my name here. Let's see what we got here. Um... What the hell do we got here? This is this 125 Ranger here. So if I do XM, you know, they'll open that in a uh, video here soon. So you see at the bottom here, we have our uh, video that's playing, right? And if I queue up another video, let's see, we have another one here. Treat URL, here we go, XM. And if I finish this video, uh, the next one will be queued uh, using another task puller session. And look at that, we'll play the videos. So that's how you manage it, you know, if if you want to do it straight from their uh, config here that they have for key mapping. I mean, most of this I already explained it in my um, URL portal script. But it, like I said, if you don't want to use the URL portal, you don't have to, you can just use straight up, uh, it was a W3M's config that they have in here. And, um, you know, um, using other commands in here, like uh, MPV, task puller, so on and so forth. 
anyways, I think I explained it most of the ones I have, but uh, it's up to you if you want to add your own. However you want to bind it, it's up to you. But the thing is, uh, you have to use uh, either the extern link or extern for the URLs. And if you just want to use like straight up uh, shell commands, um, you can use you know the shell command for that. And you can run like uh, your own, uh, you know, whatever it is you do in Bash or a terminal. Uh, you can run like basic commands. Don't try to do like a, don't try chaining too much because I, if you try chaining too much, I don't think it'll work. Anyways, keep it basic, and that's how you use it with these uh, built-in commands, either extern, extern link, or shell. That'll be it for this one. Uh, show notes will be in the description, all right?